Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first week of February. In today's video, we're going to check out two painting sessions. The first session is going to be a plein air session right out here on the farm where we're going to be looking up at the barn and a tree in the pasture under a sun-soaked afternoon. And then we're going to head up into the studio to paint an image of my neighbor's cat under morning light. Welcome back for another wintertime plein air session. It's a lovely afternoon out here on the farm in January and there was clouds all morning and I painted up in the studio. I was working on finishing a small painting of the neighbor's farm under snowy morning conditions. And then the sun came out so I decided to carry my things out here, my easel and my palette and all of my paints and I decided to create a painting of the late afternoon light falling onto the pasture and onto the barn. In this painting, I'm definitely drawn to the light that's falling onto the barn. And of course, I love this clean and crisp January light that we're experiencing today. And I'm hoping to capture some of the magic of that light through a plein air painting session. I'm already well into the painting process. I'm kind of sucked into it at this point and I'm starting to get some paint on the painting panel. I think I'll get this painting started today and then come back with fresh eyes and finish it up on another sunny afternoon. So thanks so much for being here. I'm gonna continue doing my thing. The quality of light on that afternoon really was special. It seemed like all of nature was celebrating the sunshine. There was even some birds chirping as I worked on that afternoon. The warm light was falling onto the pasture and that tree that's in the foreground right in front of the barn was lit up with a warm yellow ochre color. The grasses and the pasture under that light turned orange and brilliant in color and it was all set off by that deep blue sky. And on the first day I painted that sky with a dark indigo color and that was going to set me up for the next day when I could come back and finish the painting and add in a lot of that emerald sparkle in the sky. It's been a couple days since I started this painting. Actually I think it's been uh, maybe a little over a week and the reason for that was that there was brutally cold temperatures. We had some bone chilling cold for about 10 days. I don't know if that was the polar vortex or something else, but we're back out here today to finish this painting off. I spent the morning painting in the studio and so I'm warmed up for the day. And we've got some clouds rolling in this afternoon, but even though those clouds are gonna be coming in, I'm feeling warmed up and confident. I think that I'm going to be able to finish this painting off in about an hour or two. You can see we've got that beautiful emerald green kind of quality to the sky this afternoon. It's a beautiful sky. This is where the painting is at. And I think it's time that we dig into it and finish off this painting of the old barn. The best part of winter light is that it's often so crisp and clear that we get to experience some striking blue skies. During the summer here in Wisconsin, there's often so much humidity in the air that we never really see the blue sky. Even when it's sunny, it seems somewhat overcast. But here, under the late January light, there was no atmosphere and it made for a striking emerald and ultramarine sky on this afternoon. Well, the sun is getting towards the horizon right behind me. Porter, the dog, has been a good sport. And I'm telling you that as that sun sets, it gets a lot cooler out here. This is where we're ending the painting session for the day. I'm enjoying the warm yellows and pinks and oranges and reds against the 
blues and turquoises of the sky. And I think I've done my job for this afternoon. Anything beyond this can probably be finished up in the studio, but I really took the time to get my perceptions up on the painting. I'm feeling great this evening. Having a day of sunshine and being able to get outside for the first time. This is the first time that I could get outside in quite a while and paint. It's been so, so, so bitterly cold outside that I wasn't able to. And today I did yoga in the afternoon after I painted all morning. And when I was able to get outside and do it, it felt great because I had a lot of that ambition stored up inside of me. And it feels wonderful to be out here on the farm doing what I love. Well, I'm going to gather everything up. Hopefully not everything is buried in the snow and get back in the house. I'm pretty cold, so I'm going to cut this one off. One last look at the painting. Let's see it. Oh gosh. Is that eagle poop? I think it might. We're gonna look it up when we get home. Speaking of that studio painting that I was talking about a little bit ago, here it is on the screen. It's a painting of the neighbor's cat in the morning light, and the light was kind of shining through the old worn down barn boards and falling onto the road and the side of the road. Let's head up into the studio and check out the painting session of the neighbor's cat. This is a painting of the neighbor's cat and their granary and sheds and a corner of the barn. But the real subject in this painting is the morning light streaming through those broken down and weathered barn boards and falling onto the road. I spent some time that morning considering the placement of the shapes onto the canvas and I wanted to showcase those shapes of the morning light falling onto the snow. So everything else was kind of subordinated to that idea, and those shapes all point towards the old barn, and there's some kind of rhythm or directional movement or something pleasing that's happening in the foreground because I had those shapes of light. The cat is backlit and the fur around the silhouette of her body is lit up with intense sunlight while the rest of the body falls into shade. We always want to build our paintings in terms of contrast, at least if we're trying to show the effect of light. And backlit subjects, just like our cat in this painting, often gives us a good opportunity to use the contrast of shadow and light. I'm really working this painting up at this point. I'm modeling a lot of that light falling onto the slushy morning road and I'm also redefining the shapes on that cat and overall just working more color into all of the major masses. And that was a really fun painting to make, and I'm glad that you were able to be up here in the studio with me while it was created. So that's it for this week's upload, and I appreciate you being here. If you're enjoying these videos, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel, and you could also like the video and leave a comment. 
when you do those things it somehow changes the algorithm and more people are able to see the videos and the goal of my channel is just to share the joy of painting with as many people as possible so thanks again for being here and we'll do this again next week all right have a good weekend finally Thanks to everybody who supported us by shopping on my web store for our Valentine's box promotion. This is the third year that I offered Valentine's boxes on my web store during the first week of February. And in every box I included a framed six by eight inch painting, a four pack of blank art, of blank greeting cards with images of my paintings on the front, and also a really fun Valentine's Day special sticker pack. And those were available on my web store starting February 1st. Thanks to everybody who, who got one of those. They're in the mail. We just sent them off this morning. And if you'd like to be on my list when I notify people by email for promotions like this, just send me an email to kylemartinpaintings at gmail.com. All right, thanks again, and we'll see you soon.